man. What the heck? Hey! Are you struggling with that drawing? <laughs> Why, yes I am. I just don't know what to do with it anymore. Maybe it's my composition, or maybe my anatomy needs work. I don't know. Hmm. Have you tried playing Breath of the Wild? What? What? Skyrim. What are you talking about? Viva Pinata. What? No, what What does that have to do with my drawing? All right, calm down, calm down, okay? Trust me on this. Let me show you. Uh, uh. All right, look at this dragon I drew. Pretty impressive, I know. Now look at this dragon from Skyrim. What can I do to improve this? Ah, horns. There we go. Maybe it's also on a snowy mountaintop. It's now improved because I took the time to play Skyrim and just enjoy the game. And automatically the data from that game gets stored into my mind. Sorta, of, sorta, of, that, that, that's somehow, it, it works something like that, okay? Just don't worry about it. GAMES! From the highest snowy mountain peaks to the darkest caves. From the luscious green pastures to the desolate wastelands. Games can provide so much imagination that it's just not right for artists to struggle when their lord and savior is just a click away. That lord and savior being KO the kangaroo. <laughs> I only played like five minutes of that game. <laughs> so what I want you to do is I just want you to sit back and just pick out a game that interests you. If you don't have the money, then you could probably look up some gameplay videos on YouTube. I have over like a thousand videos, okay? You can watch one of them and you possibly will be interested. But I want you to really immerse yourself and try to figure out why is this game interesting to you. And that's the first step. Just absorb all the information. Just go, just go ahead. Just breathe it in. Just... Ah... <sighs> Okay, not that one. That one's bad. Games can provide so many opportunities for you to improve your art, whether through the visuals, the atmosphere, or the storytelling. Games are made by people who have active imaginations and want their creations to come to life through hard work and research. All you need to do is just steal that hard work and research and just keep it all for yourself. With love, of course. It's all about taking what you see and implementing it into your drawings. A great example shown was actually made by Lavender Town, where in her video, she used Minecraft to help her with a background for one of her pieces. And she said that Minecraft is a really great tool to use as reference when it comes to any sort of background that you're trying to make. Play any game you want and just observe your surroundings. Realize that a lot of games are actually pretty much gold mines for your imagination. So I really like this character Spooky from Spooky's House of Jump Scares and I decided, hey, I should draw her. Because I played Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion and got royally spooked, I knew where I wanted to take this piece, as opposed to not knowing much about the character and kind of just drawing them. I got a sense of what the character was all about from playing the game, and I understood how to use the environments from the game to my advantage. And overall, I think this is one of my favorite pieces I've drawn yet. It really captures what I think the game represents to me in a way. Same goes with this Dark Souls 3 piece with my character. Except this piece was done out of pure rage because of a you know, certain boss. What? What? I'm joking! I'm joking! No, no, no. Then there's the Baron of Hell from Doom because, well, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's, uh, it's kinda cute. <laughs> and I'm not saying you'll magically just get better just by playing a few games, like, no, no. And, and same thing with, like, if you played a million games in your life, you're automatically a god at drawing. Like, you still need a great understanding of the fundamentals in order to improve. It's just that after a certain point, you need to flesh out your imagination, and I think Games are a great way to help that. If you like something in a game, like an environment, ask yourself, why did you like that? And see if you can add it to a drawing. Don't know what to draw? Well, what about that cute elf character that you saw in that game that you so loved to play? Hmm? Hmm? What about that one? Go ahead and draw them. Hmm? What about Party Phil, man? I mean, you gotta draw him. I've drawn him a lot. I also can't forget to mention that I made a little mascot right here, who's just an amalgamation of a bunch of video game characters. Or just one of the slimes from Slime Rancher. Don't you dare try to steal my OC, okay? I worked very hard! So what I'm trying to say is, out of this entire thing here, and I hope you're getting it, is to just play some games. Just play some games and just see where it takes you because I feel that it's more productive uh, actually having fun doing something rather than just staring at a blank canvas wondering, well, how, how does one do the drawing? Thank you for sticking through the entire video. I hope you liked it. Uh, these types of videos are actually so much fun to make. Uh, the, the idea of bridging the, the world between games and art is actually they're actually pretty similar if you think about it. And I really want to focus on doing stuff like this more. It does take a lot more effort to make these types of videos, but I think it's all worth it because in the end, uh, I'm creating a product that I personally really, really enjoy. And I hope that as I continue on, 
uh, it'll improve as well. And also, Merry Christmas as well, since Christmas is, uh, unless I upload this video, it's currently pretty much Christmas right now, it's, it's the 24th, um, hopefully I can get this video out, it, it takes, like I said, it takes a while to edit these types of videos, I don't know if I can really get it out in one day, but if you want to see more videos like this, where I'm doing other stuff, I've done some speed paints related, the same style as this, where I'm just talking and just having, I'm talking a lot of crap pretty much, you can go ahead and click on any one of these videos right here, it'll lead you to different things that I've done, um, and they're, like I said, they're also really worth it in my book, uh, uh, so if you want to see more art than I do, you can follow my Instagram. Link is down in the description to my actual Instagram thing um, where I post my art there. Uh, and uh, I also stream, doing art-related streams on, on Twitch. So if you want to check out there, I'll also link down in the description as well. If you guys want to keep in touch with my art side and all that great stuff, uh, go ahead. And I hope you like this video, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs>